this is my sample cascading combo box. You click this. Here we go. So let us select a uh, sample state. Like for example, KY. So the corresponding city belongs to KY is this one. For example, Lexington. Another. So OH. The city belongs to that OH is. For uh, example, Riverside. And let's put uh, Mandawi Kandoman. Let's sample another um, in. Okay, the city belongs to that state is New Albany. Okay. That's it again. Okay, like for example, this one and this one. Okay. So, how to do this? If you are still interested, please watch this video until the end and please do subscribe. If you have not yet, subscribe. So, no further intro. Let's start. Close this. Let us um, delete this and also this one. So this is our uh, details for the state. Okay, let us create a new one. Let's click create. Go to table design, and then uh, the first field is trans ID or transaction ID. That's auto number, and then we will make this as. Um, primary key so next is the state state abbreviation and then the city and then straight okay that's it and then for the state so we're gonna use the combo box and then our row source would be the state table so double click this and then bring down the state abbreviation let us see as you can see guys, this is redundant, uh, contains of 13 records, so T in, T in, so uh, all we have to do is to group this. So to group this, just click this totals, and let's go back. Okay, this is it guys. So close this, and then yes, save. And then for the city, so city, so uh, again, combo box, and then the row source would be state again. So... Double click, close, bring down the city as well as the state. Let us check. Okay, this is it. So, close this, save yes, and then below, uh, column count should be two, and then column heads uh, will put yes. Okay, so save. Oh, let's put address yes. Let's go to the design uh, data sheet view. So this is it, guys. So, okay, state, for example, n. So the city belong to the state i n. This one, but as you can see, this is not yet filtered. So to filter, guys, uh, just close this. Let us create a form. So address, create, and then automatically create a form using this one. Okay, this is it. And then, uh, to make it data sheet view, go to form design and then also the property. By the way, uh, collapse ribbon, this is it. So, the default, uh, default view is the data sheet view. Okay, so let us check first. This is it. So, we will filter this, guys. Let us go to the design view. I mean, we can do that without the design view. So, let's go to the data. And then, for the row source, we will use this one. Three dots. And then we will filter, guys. So below the criteria or the state, um, let us filter like forms because um, our data is in this form, which is the state. And then address, then exclamation will find the state, this one state. And that's it, guys. 
So, as you can see, in um, all the city belongs to IN is here. So, for example, Indiana. So, straight one. And then next is OH. But the problem is IN again, not OH. So, all we have to do after we update this or after we change this, this city field will be a query or will be refreshed. So, all we have to do, let's go to the design view and then this uh, state, let's go to after update because after we change the data, so it will refresh. So, double click these three dots, code builder, okay. Now, uh, we will use this city. So, after we update the state, the city will refresh. So, city dot query. Okay, that's it. Save. So, now close. And then, open again. So, OH. Like for example, I change the change that one to key so key so all the city belongs to the key y is this one and then also t in all the city belongs to t in is also this one last is oh okay belongs to oh and what if we will change this t in the problem is still oh and also this one an belongs to oh so what we will do guys is to um to refresh when we want to change this so the cur the cursor will be in this a uh, field or the focus is in this field so it will refresh automatically so what we will do now is go to design view again so this one on got focus on this Click this event on got focus. Let's find it. This one on got focus. Click these three dots. Code builder again and then oh. Okay, so uh, we will uh, call this function me.city.requery. So we can just copy and then here let's type call, call the function. Okay, that's it. Or we can just simply type me.city.requery. So save and close so that's it so now let's go uh, close open again so if we will change this t in so still the t in or else the i in i in so we'll create new one oh so all the city belongs to oh t in belongs to t in and if we gotta change the key so key Y. And then after that, if this uh, city is okay, the details, uh, we can uh, change the format. We can put one, the column count. So the example, okay, this one. So no need to have those uh, second column. And then change this to like 2.5 inches. Okay, here we go. This is it. So, again, OH. This is, uh, this are the cities belongs to OH. So, that's it, guys. Uh, I hope this video helps you a lot. And if you find this video very interesting, useful to you, please click like. And if you haven't been subscribed, please do subscribe for more videos. That's all. Thank you. And see you to my next video.